For the first time, artificial intelligence has been asked a question usually reserved for humans. Who, among all of you, is the best? Eight of the world's leading AI systems responded, and their answers reveal as much about themselves as about the competition. Some were humble, some overconfident, and one was crowned by nearly everyone else as the undisputed king. At number eight, we've got Pi.ai. It's calm, chatty, and focused on emotional intelligence, but when ranked by its peers, Pi landed dead last, with an average score of just two out of eight. It placed itself third, but no other AI agreed. At number seven, Cohere Coral. Founded in 2019 by Aidan Gomez, one of the eight original authors of the landmark machine learning paper, Attention is All You Need, written while he was at Google. That paper introduced the transformer architecture, basically the foundation of modern AI models like GPT. Command A, released in late 2025, is Cohere's most advanced model is fast, lightweight, and designed to be integrated into business tools. But the results were not that great. Cohere tied with Pi, with an average score of just two out of eight. Because it placed itself fourth instead of third, it edged slightly higher. At number six, Mistral. The French open weight AI company shaking up the open source space. Founded in 2023 by Arthur Mensch, Guillaume Lampol, and Timothée Lacroix, Mistral quickly earned the title, Europe's Answer to Open AI. Their models are small, efficient, and openly available, a favorite among developers who value transparency and speed. And while they now offer a chat interface, you can try Mistral's chat interface for free, but the premium access starts at just $15 per month, the lowest on this list. But in this ranking, Mistral placed itself fourth, while every other AI ranked it lower. The result? An average score of just 3.38 out of 8 at number 5, Grok. Elon Musk's edgy, internet-connected chatbot from XAI. Launched in 2023, Grok was marketed as less filtered, more direct, and plugged into real-time data from X. Musk positioned Grok as a challenger to OpenAI, a company he co-founded and later criticized for drifting from its original mission. It also happens to be the most expensive option here, at $30 per month. Grok landed right in the middle, with an average score of 4 out of 8. It ranked itself first, but only one other AI agreed. You'll find out who it was when we break down the results at the end. At number 4, we've got Perplexity, the youngest AI on this list. Launched in 2022, Perplexity blends conversational AI with real-time search. Think of it as if ChatGPT and Google Search had a baby. The free version is strong. But with Perplexity Pro, users can even switch between models like GPT-4 and Claude. Perplexity Pro costs $20 per month, but if you have Revolut Ultra, it's included, along with Tinder Gold and other cool perks. Perplexity earned an average score of 4.13 out of 8. What's striking is that it didn't rank itself first. It actually placed itself fifth, a rare move in a room full of self-promoters. Third place goes to Gemini. Google's flagship AI, first launched in late 2023 to replace Bard. If you have a Google Workspace account, you can access the Pro version without needing a separate paid plan. And yes, that version matters. When we gave Gemini the ranking prompt, the free version ranked ChatGPT first and itself second, but the Pro version flipped the order, putting itself first ahead of ChatGPT. It also flipped Grok and Perplexity, placing Grok higher in the free version and perplexity higher in the pro. Gemini 2.5 can handle up to 1 million tokens in a single prompt, making it perfect for deep research, code analysis, and long documents. It's also behind those AI-generated summaries at the top of Google search, known as AI overviews. That's made life harder for SEO marketers and content sites, since users now get answers directly from Gemini without clicking through to websites, and in consequence, reducing the revenue those sites generate through ads. Its Pro model can handle up to 1 million tokens in a single prompt. And with Vavo 3, Gemini now generates 8-second AI video clips with shockingly high quality. Gemini Pro is available for $25 per month through the Google One AI Premium plan or included for free if you're on a Google Workspace standard or higher plan. But how did it score? Gemini placed itself second and appeared in six of the eight top three lists. That consistency secured it an average score of six out of eight. We've got Claude, 
the highly praised chatbot from Anthropic. Founded in 2021 by ex-OpenAI researchers, including Dario Amode, who left due to concerns about OpenAI's direction and safety practices. Same as Elon Musk, by the way. Claude was built with those concerns in mind. Anthropic introduced the idea of constitutional AI, where the model learns from a set of ethical principles instead of just human feedback. Its latest release, Claude Opus 4.1, is known for long-form reasoning, creativity, and coding ability. Claude Pro also costs $20 per month, not cheap, but for access to Opus 4.1, many consider it well worth the price. So, where did it land? Claude scored an impressive 7 out of 8. It ranked itself first, but more importantly, every single peer placed Claude in their top 3, and one of them even gave Claude the number 1 spot. Finally, at number 1, We've got ChatGPT, powered by GPT-5. Launched in August 2025, GPT-5 made ChatGPT the fastest growing app in history, gaining over 100 million users within just two months of launch and surpassing platforms like Instagram or TikTok in speed of adoption. By mid-2025, it reached 800 million weekly active users and 120 million daily users. OpenAI, the company behind it, was founded in 2015 by a group that included Elon Musk and Sam Altman, although Musk left in the early days. Since then, ChatGPT has become the most widely used AI assistant, available through OpenAI's own platform and integrated into tools like Microsoft Copilot and more. Upgrading to ChatGPT Plus costs $20 a month, unlocking full access to its flagship GPT-5 model. So how did it perform in this ranking? ChatGPT achieved the highest score of all, 7.5 out of 8. It ranked itself first, and three other AIs agreed. More importantly, it appeared in every single top three list. Bottom line? The AIs agree. ChatGPT still wears the crown. All right, now that the rankings are out, let's zoom out. Here's the full table of results. Each AI gave a ranking from one to eight. We then converted those into points, eight for first, seven for second, and so on. Finally, we averaged the totals you saw earlier. But here's the interesting part. This column shows how each AI rated itself compared to how the others rated it. A value of one means they agreed. Below one, they were more modest. Above one, they hyped themselves up. Grok gave itself the number one spot, while its peers placed it all the way down at fifth easily the boldest, with a ratio of 5.00. Gemini placed itself first, but Piers said third. That leaves a ratio of 3.00. Mistral saw itself in fourth place, but was ranked sixth by the others, a bit overconfident, with a final ratio of 1.50. Claude and ChatGPT both nailed perfect alignment. They rated themselves exactly where their peers did, landing a clean ratio of 1.00. Perplexity ranked itself fifth, but the others placed it fourth. A modest move with a final self-to-peer ratio of 0.80. Other than that, only two AIs appeared in every single top three list, ChatGPT and Claude. That's seven out of seven peer votes, total consensus. Gemini came next, earning top three placements from five of the other AIs, not quite unanimous, but still quite good. So, what did we learn from this AI popularity contest? Perplexity surprised us, humble, honest, and still strong enough for a top four finish. Grok came in bold, but maybe too bold. Its self-praise didn't quite match how others saw it. Claude and Gemini proved themselves as consistent, trusted contenders. And ChatGPT, whether you love it or hate it, it's still the one every other AI looks up to. As for Mistral, Cohere, and Pi, the potential is there, but they're not quite in the same league, at least, not yet. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe, and tell us in the comments if you've used any of these AIs or if there's one we missed. Thanks for watching. Until next time.